Hi, this is Edith, Educational Technologist at Oregon Tech, and in this video, I would like to go over the Transitions tab in PowerPoint, <laughs> sorry. Um, so the Transition tab um, just kind of is where you would um, set up how each slide is added. So actually, what I'm going to do is go ahead and add some more slides just so that we can kind of play around with this. Um, so let me go ahead and design the slides to this. Perfect. Okay. So this is my my PowerPoint. Perhaps I have everything set up, um, ready to go. So I want to transition between slides. Uh, there are a lot of different choices. Again, please be careful what you choose to do. You don't want to overdo and overwhelm your audience. I'm going to stress this continually just because people get excited about um, these new things that you can do and a lot of them are very worthwhile I, I don't disagree with that but I just like to just stress how important it is to while keeping your um, PowerPoint engaging you don't want to overwhelm your office uh, audience so let's say I want to do a split so this is going to just kind of show me how it looks when I'm going to do it it's kind of a, a preview of what what um, it would look like. So again, I have all different types of options. I can do a honeycomb. And this is why I say be very careful because, you know, it looks all pretty and wonderful, but um, how, you know, how much is it going to impact your presentation? Is it going to take over your pre presentation? Is it going to, um, you know, get them interested for a second and then, you know, bore them, whatever the case may be. So you can kind of see the different types of um, transition effects that you have. These are just more of the basic, um, you know, however you would like to do it again. It's definitely up to you. Um, you can also go in here and it'll tell you which direction that you can change it from. So if I want it to come from the top, from the side, um, from bottom to right. So it's kind of, you know, you can kind of see, um, let's see, let's go ahead and increase the, and let's apply it to all. Um, so I can actually increase the, the duration of the slides. Um, actually, this is timing for the slides, I apologize. Um, it does not give me the option to slow down the, the, the transition, I thought it would. But it doesn't so um, you can also include sound so they do give you some different in, um, different types of sounds to include so let's see there you go so it does apply to the transition effect um, again we want to be very careful what we're doing and how we're doing it uh, just because while it might gain the attention, how much of it is going to affect your presentation and what you want to show. Um, apply to all basically means that if I push apply to all, it doesn't matter which slide I'm on. So if I go to six, let me just go ahead and um, slide six. Let's go slide five here. Five. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and transition, so preview. See, and so, you know, I can also just say, maybe I want six to have the arrow. Okay, so let's preview. So let's see if it's different now. And you definitely don't want to do this on every slide, <laughs> okay? <laughs> so anyway, so you can make different slides to each, each, um, each, I mean, different sounds to each slide. Um, you can also choose to advance on a mouse click or you can choose to advance after every, you know, two seconds, three seconds. I wouldn't, if you want to do an automatic advance slide, practice. See how it lasts for your um, part of, of that slide. So when you're talking about that slide, how long do you think you're going to need to get the information or how little time you might need to get the information across? Um, people think like, oh my gosh, five seconds is not hardly any time. But for, for in all actuality, it's really a long time. I think um, the average is about three seconds, believe it or not. So anyway, this is your transitions uh, um, 
tab for PowerPoint. So if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, please um, get in touch with me, edis.warden at noit.edu, extension 51730. And um, I'm in the Skype directory, Edis Warden. And you know, feel free to um, IM me, video conference me, um, you know, send me a message that you want to meet with me personal for some one-on-one -on -one help. I'm more than glad to do that with you. Just let me know. I'm here for you. Thank you and have a great day.